All right guys, so welcome back to a new video. Today's video is extremely special. Today, Bose gets knocked off the throne as being the best noise canceling headphone. And why is that? Well, today I'm reviewing the Sony MDR-1000X. Okay, I do wanna say that for the longest time, I honestly thought that Bose was gonna be at the top of noise canceling and nobody was gonna be around to compete. I can honestly say for once, I've tried a headphone that does just that. All right, so I'm gonna start off with the accessories. We're gonna go ahead and get that stuff out of the way so we can get right into the headphone. It comes with an airline adapter because them being noise canceling headphones, uh, people who travel, that is extremely important. You do get a micro USB cable because it does need to charge. It does get 20 hours of playtime and battery life, which is really good for someone who travels because that's easily a flight there, a flight back, several flights, and you don't even have to worry about charging them. Okay, next is the headphone cable. It is a really nice thick cable, uh, regular three and a half millimeter. You have the angled plug at the end, but these are wireless and you're not likely to ever use this at all. All right, so now we're gonna get into the case. The case itself has a little pouch on the back so that you can put cables, anything like that, because the case itself is very slim, very small profile, uh, and is basically made really just for the headphones itself. Now you can see inside the case, it has the diagram to how these are laid out. Um, it folds a really specific way to be able to fit in here uh, so that it keeps a very low profile and doesn't take up a lot of room. Looking at the headphones themselves, just because you just saw the case, you can see that these do lay, turn and lay flat uh, and you're able to angle it in, and that's kind of how it sits in the case. So as far as build quality, these feel premium from the second you pick them up. They have the metal headband at the top uh, that is the exact same metal that they use on the XB950BT, the extra bass headphones, which is a very nice touch. It's extremely well built. You have the metal sliders. They go all the way down into the band itself. Um, and as you can see, you can stretch these out, twist them. And I'm very nervous to do that because these retail for $400 dollars uh, so it's pretty steep but again for the demographic that they're going for someone who travels someone who uh, is a business person maybe in an office that you know wants to block out as much noise as possible that's the demographic for these headphones your left and right simply marked on the inside just like you know that's very common with Sony uh, they usually put them in the same place you'll also notice when I go through these that your buttons are all on the left side so it's easy to know which way they go on and as you can see they sit uh, extremely low profile they don't stick out at all um, they do have a pretty big ear cup they are considered over the ear uh, the ear cups themselves is an extremely extremely soft leather it feels really good on the head um, I didn't notice any discomfort at all I mean you could wear these again if you're traveling for hours and you're good they're so lightweight they have like no weight at all. On your left side, you have your NFC. So if you have an NFC capable device, you just simply tap it here and it will connect to it no problem. Uh, no controls are on the right side. On the right side, you do have the micro USB port for charging and that's it. Uh, they do include on the very top of each ear cup a very, very tiny little speaker. Now, what that is for is to be able to pick up ambient noises around you. These headphones give you the option, if you're not using them in noise canceling mode, to be able to switch to a normal ambient noise or a vocal ambient noise. Now what that does is it lets you be more aware of your surrounding. Ambient sound, voice. These microphones will pick up everything that's going on. So if somebody's talking to you and they come up to you, all you have to do is just rest your hand on the right side. Your music will continue to play, but it lowers the volume and the microphones start to pick up what somebody's trying to tell you. Hi, thank you very much. Stop. So no interruptions to your music, no interruptions. You don't have to take them off. You don't have to do any of that. You just simply cover this side, music tones down, vocals come through. Uh, but as you can see on the left side is where you have those controls. That's where you have the option to be able to turn the noise canceling on or be able to change the ambient sound to normal or vocal mode. So you have all of these options built into here. Now, as you can tell, there's also the power button, which is right next to the jack for the three and a half millimeter headphone cable. But again, 
These are wireless, long battery life. I never felt the need to be able to use a wired mode, but it's there if you want. Also want to get into the fact that you saw nothing on the right side can be misleading because all of the controls are right here on the right side. There's no buttons to be able to play, pause, any of that stuff. It's all touch sensor on your right side. So if you swipe forward, it skips forward. You swipe back, it skips back. You tap twice, it will pause and tap again to resume playing. Uh, volume up, you just simply slide your finger up and volume down, you simply slide your finger down. It's pretty easy to maneuver. It's great that you don't have access to buttons you're trying to feel around for. It's easy to just know, I wanna turn it up. Um, somebody's coming, I just wanted to cover this up so that I can hear them. It's so easy to you. So let's get into sound because $400, it's great that it has all of those features, but if it sounds awful, it's not worth it. And to be honest, your $400 is very well spent in these. Now that is hard for me to say because I am always out shopping budget headphones that blow away the more expensive headphones. Now these are the more expensive headphones and they're worth it. $400 on these, if you are somebody who travels or works in a noisy environment or has a commute where there's a lot of noise, these are what you want because you will hear nothing around you. You will be in your own world and the music sounds fantastic. It is so, so clear yet so punchy. It's not a bland sound. It has a lot of life to it. This is the sound signature that I like. Yes, it is a U but the U is turned up a little more than most headphones. Treble comes through so clear. Uh, you're able to hear every little detail. Bass is extremely punchy, so if you're listening to metal or hip hop or anything with a beat, you can feel it. It just has a fun sound signature that makes watching movies, listening to music, playing games, it makes this the best overall wireless headphone that I've tried. And honestly, again, the price is steep, but you get what you pay for because vocals sound so rich. It's like Sony went in and said, okay, Bose, we're gonna take what you do and what you've done so well for so long and we're just gonna do it 10 times better because honestly, the price difference between these at $400 and the Bose QC35s at $350, the $50 difference, it honestly is well worth it. So for $400, you are getting the most premium headphone I've ever tried. You're getting 20 hours of battery life. You're getting an extremely nice leather case, headphone cable, everything is premium. The premium build, the touch controls, you're getting technology that a lot of headphones do not have. You're getting an ambient sensor so that you don't have to fumble around to pause music you don't have you just cover it's it's genius and you're getting sound that is exciting that is really exciting on all genres it sounded amazing with classical metal rock you know hip-hop dance everything it seemed like I mean, it seemed like this headphone was made for everything I'm happy to bring to you guys what I think is finally the headphone that knocks Bose off the top as far as noise canceling goes. So the Sony MDR-1000X, I highly, highly recommend. So thank you guys so much for checking out this review. Thank you guys so much for checking out all the other reviews. And as always, guys, make sure to stay tuned for more.